Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to find out square root of a non-perfect square number by division method. It's a very important question and uh, here we're talking about non-perfect square and the method remains same like how we have done uh, for the how to find out the square root of a perfect square numbers using a long division same method is followed but this time i'm taking a non perfect squares like uh, non perfect numbers for example 518 it's a non perfect square and uh, how can we say this number is non perfect square by doing a long division if the remainder is not zero or looking at the number we can say the number is ending with 8 so no perfect square ends with 8 like now num number which end with 2 3 7 8 are not perfect squares it's not perfect square so how to find out square root of such number so i'm using a long division method here here we go so here i'll go now so whenever you finding out square root of non perfect square number your answer will be in decimal that is square root of 518 will be in decimal so how do we get it so let's go ahead so i'm taking number 518 so we have already told you before like whenever you're doing a long division method you have to pair up the numbers from the right side so this will form my one pair from right side i'm doing this is my first pair and this is my second this is not a pair only one single number is left so i'll go to take it as one single number now second step is you have to find out a perfect square which is near to 5 and that will be your divisor so the nearest perfect square is 4 and how do we get 4 2 2 so my divisor will be 2 and in the question i write 2 So two twos are four. That's it. Subtract it. I'll get one as a remainder. Now drop this both eighteen. Will not drop single number because it's in pair. So we have to drop both a eighteen. So now my new dividend is one hundred and eighteen. Now in long division method, your divisor keep changing in every step. So now in the next step, my divisor is not two. but i'm going to take my new divisor how to take it so this will going to have a like uh, the first digit which is in tens place would be a double of the quotient now in the quotient i have 2 so double of 2 or twice of 2 is actually 4 so i'll write down 4 here it's not it over along with 4 i have to find out a digit this digit which such a way that this number in the the new digit or the digit in the ones place in the divisor and the new digit in the quotient the both should be same how to choose it like we will just do a trial and error method and get the answer so i have to take along with 4 a number with which if i multiply the same number should multiply to get a number near to 118 close to 118 it should be less than that so i'll just do a trial error method uh, let me take 3 so i'm just doing uh, trialing here i don't want the perfect answer but to cross check by taking different number so this will going to give me 9129 okay this is more than uh, 118 so i'll reduce the number i'll take 42 two za so 22 za 4 24 za 8 84 yes this is perfect this is less than that so i'll take 42 za this is 2 okay so 42 za 84 now subtract the numbers Yeah, I'll get four, and I'll get three. Good. Now, if you see, uh, we are getting remainder here, which is thirty-four, which shows that this number is obviously not perfect square. Then, what to do? It's a like simple how we do in division, normal division, same procedure. I'll take decimal. I'll put decimal point here, and I'll take 
two zeros. Now I'm not taking one single zero because I have to take a numbers in pair. So I'll put decimal. I'll take a two zeros along with uh, the new dividend what we have. Now I'll proceed further same way. Now in the question I have twenty two. Ignore the decimal. I have twenty two. So double of twenty two is forty four. So current question is twenty two. Together, I should take whole together twenty two. Double of twenty two is forty four. So I'll write forty four. Along with forty four, I have to take a new digit again, such a way that digit in the divisor and this digit in the quotient both should be same. Now, how to select that? So again, we'll do a trial and error method. So I'll just take a random number. Let me take uh, forty-four Pfizer. So sorry, four hundred four hundred forty-five multiplied with five. Twenty-five six twenty-two. So this is quite less than expected. So I'll just increase my number. So let me take. Four four seven multiplied with seven, seven seven is a forty-nine. So I'm getting answer three hundred twenty-nine, which is closer. Now what happens if I'll take eight? Let us check it out. So four four eight multiplied by Eight. Okay. If I take this number, I'm getting three thousand five hundred eighty-four. This is quite larger than three thousand four hundred. So I'll end up with this seven. Means four hundred forty-seven multiplied by seven because this is giving me a accurate, like near to the three thousand four hundred. So subtract the numbers. So this time I'll get four hundred forty-seven multiplied by seven is giving me three hundred three thousand one hundred twenty-nine. So subtract it. I'll get remainder one seven two hundred seventy-nine plus three hundred and seventeen, and here I'll get zero. Okay. So this is what we can do it. Now suppose you want to find out one more number after decimal. Now I got 7. I want to find out one more digit. That is after decimal point I want two digits. Then already decimal point decimal is there. I'll going to take again two zeros and continue with the same procedure. So I'll going to solve with the one more digit. So the current question right now is twenty two point seven. So when you take a double of this question, ignore the decimal point. Take a double of two hundred twenty seven, which will be four hundred four hundred fifty four. Okay. Now, along with that, I have to find one more digit. So, what we should take nearest to it, so that we can get this uh, near to the two hundred twenty-seven. So, four hundred fifty-four. What I should take the new digit. So, we'll take a, again trial and error method. I'll go for four fifty-four. Now, I'm taking here four. Multiplied with four. Let's see what comes. Four four is a sixteen. Sixteen and then okay. 
okay i'm getting this it's quite less than the re uh, what we want so i'll go for the next number so 4 5 4 and i'm taking 5 has a new digit multiplied by 5 let's see what gets so this is 25 and 22 7 then 22 okay this is quite near to it what happens if i'll take 6 so let me try it out here so 4 5 4 6 multiplied by 6 Okay, this number is quite ha more than the 27,100, so I'll end up with 5. So take 5 and write the 5 in the question and the divisor. We'll get 22,725. Now subtract this, we'll get 5, 7, 3 and 4. That's it. Okay. If you want to continue further, if you want one more digit after decimal, that is third place, again continue the procedure, take two zeros and continue. So we can say that square root of 518 will be, so square root of 518 is 22.75, it's approximate, we will get still after 7. 7, 5 we get more numbers but we are approximating for the two digit after decimal only two numbers we want so this is how you should do it's like a normal division now i'll show one more problem so i'm taking a four digit now four digit number square root of 2316 how to get it again we'll go for long division so i'm gonna show you this in quick way since you have understood the problem how to do it so i'll show this in with the calculations so I'll get 2316 so first step is pair up the number this two will form one pair this two form another pair now I have to take a perfect square which is near to 23 which is 16 and we'll get 4 4 is 16 so I'll take 4 4 is 16 subtract the numbers we will get 7 0 and drop this we'll get 16 now I have to take a double of the question which is 4 double of 4 is 8 along with 8 I have to find a new digit so I'll take 88 8 za. so this is gonna give me 64 So I'll get 704. This is quite near to the what I wanted. So I'll take 88 8 za 704. Now subtract it. We'll get 12 as a remainder. So this means that this number is non perfect square. I'll take a point, decimal point. I'll put two zeros here. Now what is double of 48 it is 96 so along with 96 what I should choose okay here we go so if I'll take 96 along with the 2 if I'll take that is 962 multiplied by 2 I'm getting 1924 which is quite more so I'll end up with the 1 so 96 1 so 961 multiplied by 1 will gonna give me 961 now subtract the numbers I'll get 9 3 and then 2 that's it so if I want one more digit after like now I got one if I want second digit after decimal then already decimal point is there you can take up the zeros now continue the procedure so what is double of 481 it is 962 now along with that I have to find a new digit which will be my new 
digit in the divisor and the quotient so I'll take 962 I'm taking a new digit 2 and multiplying with 2 I'll get 4 4 10 12 I'll get 19 so 19 yeah it's quite closer to it what happens if I'll take 3 9 6 2 3 and then multiplied by 3 9 6 so I'm getting number which is more than that so um, I'm not taking uh, uh, 3 I'll take 2 so 9 6 2 here 2 I'll get and here in the question to put the 2 we'll get 1 9 2 4 4 subtract them I'll get 6 5 6 4 that's it so I'm stopping here since I want only two digit after decimal points I got it so we can write the square root of 2316 as here we go square root of 2316 is equal to now we got 48.12 so 48.12 it's quite easy thing is it's quite lengthy you have to take uh, do a lot of trial and error method for getting a new divisor the new digit and the new question that's it the method is very simple so I hope you understood thank you so much for watching if you like my channel subscribe and click on bell icon thank you